Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to our blog. My name is Jim Cuervo, and I am your senior trainer here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic is Blocks Palette Dialog Box Improvements in AutoCAD 2021. Okay, so let's see how we get our Blocks Library Palette. We come over here to our Insert, Blocks Item, Insert, Pull Down, Blocks from libraries. The improvement to this item really is just the addition of this particular tab right here called libraries, which brings at the very top, it has a search bar for your filters. And then you have here your history last four, plus a blocks library search button, which is this one also mirrored right here. Continuing on, we see these two buttons here. One of them, we know that it's always there, which is the extra large button. This is the way it actually represents the slides, large or small. And I do want to call something out to you, which is in the details. Now, in the details uh, representation of my slide library here, it's telling me whether the particular drawings or if we're looking inside the particular drawing itself is an annotative block or a dynamic block. This is very useful information because it tells us what we can, in fact, do or not do with this particular block. That being the case, let's continue and switch back over to a medium size icon. That's a little small. Let's go to a larger icon. Here we go. It's a little easier to see. <clears throat> now, we'll see something really interesting here. In the history button, or section here it's telling me that I'm in the full living rooms folder looking inside the living room design elevation drawing that's this drawing I'm looking into this drawing it's also telling me that because I'm looking in the drawing I can go back one so I can do that so we have a back one button let's go back into this one this is the elevations and let's say that I want to just see a few that are you know, not necessarily all of these because it's, it's a huge amount. And I want to, want to filter it down some. I'm just going to take it down to uh, list. And let's say that I want um, uh, all of the drawings that end in 0A. 0A. Okay, that is in the filter section. Let's switch back to the large icons here and say that the asterisks, as we know, means anything. So it's a wild card. So asterisk means it starts with whatever, but it must end in 0a. There it is. That's the only one that's 0a. Whether it's 0a lowercase or uppercase, it really doesn't matter. That is the one. Okay. Very well. Once that's filtered, I want you to see something. Okay. I'm actually going to switch folders here. That is showing me nothing. Now, the reason why the slideshow here is not showing me anything is because the filters are on and it's looking for OA and there are no OA items that are called there. Not, not, it's not if it's a drawing or even if it's a block inside the drawing, it doesn't exist OA. So I need to clear that and it shows me then what all the drawings are because I'm not calling for any filter whatsoever. In order to go ahead and insert one of these blocks, just like we've always done, uh, Grab it, left button, mouse, press and hold, move it over, drag and drop as they say, release the left button mouse, and you've inserted your block. With that, my dear friends, we've achieved the end of our blocks library improvements in AutoCAD 2021. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please be safe. This has been Jim Cuervo for digital drafting systems. Till the next one. Thank you.